I became drawn to elephants while I was studying animal behavior. When you study animal behavior, you don't just study for dogs or cats. Typically, you study all species. Elephants are very complicated, deep, amazing animals. And for many years, people didn't realize that. And they trained them in very, very brutal ways. And they would break an elephant, and they would use bull hooks to train them, and chain them up, and break their spirit. And it wasn't until animal training started to turn a corner, I would say maybe with horse training and then dog training, eventually it trickled down to elephants, which has only been very recently that people use positive methods to train elephants. That being said, there's still a lot of negative elephant training out there, which is why people really want to get them out of circuses and zoos. As a child, I did go to the circus, I'm embarrassed to say now, and I was fascinated by these large sort of peaceful, calm creatures. I think even at that age, I was not comfortable with them doing tricks for us or being entertainment for us, but I didn't know enough to know if they were happy or unhappy. And I think people like to live in denial and assume that they are happy and they want to do those tricks. But I would say going to zoos and seeing them standing there never felt right to me. They need to be treated fairly and well and try to simulate their life out in the, in the wild a little bit, but they're living in very unnatural environments and asked to do very unnatural things, which is not fair to them at all. I think it's really important that we educate children about elephants and their welfare, not just elephants, all endangered species. If we can protect them for the next 10 years, it's going to be up to the children to protect them going forward. So I took my nieces and nephews to a movie called Born to be Wild and it was a very positive way of expressing to them that elephants really deserve to be in the wild, they don't really need to be in zoos or circuses for us to enjoy them, and that we do have to look after them by preserving their environment. So I would say all my nieces and nephews fully understand the plight of elephants, and they're not interested in seeing elephants in a circus or a zoo anymore, which is great. In a minute, I think there's a lot of ways you can educate kids about animals without taking them to a circus or a zoo, and I think it's important to make those decisions and explain to your children why you are. You can buy a foster elephant for a child, and then they get monthly reports on how their elephant is doing, and eventually that elephant will return to the wild, and they'll constantly learn about it, get pictures and very detailed reports, so that's a great way to educate them and let them understand that animals have a place in this world too.